Chapter 6 When Two Eras Collide So this is 10,000 years ago. It's kind of gloomy. Look! There's only one moon in the sky! What's going on? Did we land on a whole different world? I guess even the sky looked different in this time. So Emperor Griffin is somewhere in there, huh? Yes, I can feel him. Griffin, he's in this palace. Finally, time to set things right. I'll wait for you here. I hope it all goes well. Okay, let's get going. I wonder what Emperor Griffin is really like. Nobody's ever seen him. He controls his followers from the past. I don't know exactly what he's like, but I'm certain that he has tremendous magical power. He's caused enough suffering for everyone. We'll stop him for sure. Right. Looks like we're invited in. Then let's go! Wow! You've come this far. Excellent, just like myself. No wonder the Apamelia chose you. What? You must be joking. You're Emperor Griffin? What? Emperor Griffin? <laughs> That's the name you humans have given me out of fear. Well, no matter. A name is but a name. Yes, it is I. The one you would call Emperor Griffin, the ruler of darkness. That is me. <laughs> Griffin, you're gonna pay! Well, shall we get down to it? After all, you've covered so much time and space just for me. Humans don't truly appreciate the value of existence. Excuse me? It's because of humans that suffering spreads throughout the world. Hmm? I won't forgive you, humans. I won't lose to you anymore. What do you mean? You see, even you don't understand. You should be wiped out of existence. All of you should be wiped out. Ugh! Quite impressive. I am finished. We won? Be careful. Damn! 
<laughs> I got them! This is what I wanted! With this, it will all be mine. Now then, why don't we get started? It's time to purify this world. Have you heard the legend of these stones? The legend of the stones. He who obtains the three Atlamilias receives the power of the stars. That's right. That's exactly how it goes. However, these stones have another role as well. A somewhat different role. Huh? In these stones is enough power to destroy the world. The ancients feared the people of the future. Humans are dangerous creatures, possessing both immense wisdom and even greater greed. They knew that once humans built up their civilizations and gained great powers, they would end up harming the planet itself. So in order to ensure the planet could go on living forever, they came up with a special contrivance. The Star of Oblivion. Star of Oblivion? If humans controlled by greed were to learn of the existence of the Atlamelia, capable of giving them ultimate power, they would be certain to start a war to try to recover them. And they would ultimately fall into the hands of the one with the most power. When that time comes, all life on Earth would be wiped out, and the greed in this world would finally Erased. Time and again throughout the world's history, there have been mass extinctions. But this tale of ruin and destruction definitely won't be making it into the annals of history. Finally, the great disaster shall fall upon the world. The Star of Oblivion will realize its true glory! What are you talking about? If you do that, you'll be destroyed right along with everything else! Me? <laughs> that was my plan all along. I will be swept up in the cataclysm along with all of you fool humans. That will be my fate. Everything will disappear from the face of the world and then shall take shape. That's how it will be. How it was always meant to be. I won't let you do it! <laughs> and just how are you going to stop me? This is out of your hands now. The change has already begun. Nothing can stop it now. <laughs> but just waiting around for it to happen would be no fun at all. I think I'll erase everything from the world just before the real destruction begins. Just sit back and watch.
Splendid. So this is the power of the stones. What did you do? You'll find out soon enough. I shall show you the power this palace possesses, the power I possess. has returned to the present. It can't be. What is Griffin planning now? doing oh man let's get out of here right we need a new plan is that conda and the others Following Elena's instructions, she said to land here. Here it is. I'll set it up. Listen carefully, Max. Something truly terrible has happened. It's incredible. But somehow, Griffin has shown up in your time. 
If he continues, he could go through time, destroying each era in turn. So what should we do? The only way to stop Griffin is to attack his palace with our fortress, Pasnos. But it's not like we can just bring Pasnos to this time period. There is a way. You're kidding! At the place where you are now, Kazarov Stonehenge, there is a unique convergence of space-time flow. We must make a Chrono Union there. Chrono Union? It's when time and space envelop each other. We have to make an area where your time and my time will both exist in the same place. If we can do that, then we can send Posnos to your time from here. That's really possible? Yes, the Ancient Ones knew the secret, and Luna Labs deciphered it from their wall murals. We don't have much time. Let's get to it. There should be four stone pillars standing there in Kazarov. I see them! In each pillar there is a hole. The holes are there to receive four colored gems. Put a gem in each one of the holes, and it's possible to make a Chrono Union. But where do I find these gems? The four gems are hidden somewhere in your world. In the forest, the valleys, the sea, or in the mountains. Go to all the places you've ever been and search for those gems. They're definitely there somewhere. There is a key for getting the gems from where they're hidden. The key is hidden in the center of Stonehenge, where you are now. That's it. Now if you find doors that open with that key, you're sure to find the gems. Okay, I've got it. We'll head out and find them. Even now, Griffin is starting his rampage again. Hurry, Max. Now you can jump to any place you like, in this time or the future, by using the Ixion's time travel system. With the Atlamelia stolen, the Ixion is our only means of time travel. And you can control the time travel system by remote, too. If it's a place with a time gate, you can go directly into the future, just like before. Use it carefully. Awesome! Convenient and cool! Well, so where to first? Remember the star symbols we've seen around? Maybe those symbols mark where the gems are. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. Let's go! Wow!
They've done it. So that was your... Of course. He has blood from two different times running in his veins. It's given him special qualities. A boy descended from two eras. He may just be able to save us. He could be the one. Now, let us strike back! This is. Are you trying to stand up to my power with such a puny little fortress? Have it your way. Let the battle begin! These Pazner's attacks aren't doing anything. Prepare to fire the Nova Driver. Sir, Nova Driver ready to fire. What should we do, sir? There is a town at the estimated crash point of the palace. Blast it all! How do we stop it? Initiate Colossus Mode! What? Colossus Mode? What are you talking about? It's a new system on Posnos. You must be joking. Pazmos doesn't have anything like that. Yes, it does. You just don't know about it. What? What? But ever since Pazmos was in its planning stages, I... History has changed. Since Max and Monica went back in time, things have changed slightly. They've created a whole new time stream. A new time stream? So that explains it. Cosmos in Colossus mode. Entering Colossus mode. Cool. What 
What is it? I have no idea. It looks like... like... like Pasnos is transforming. Just threw the palace aside! The palace is on the ground. Let's try and get inside. Okay! Make sure you get him. We will. <laughs> 